The apply templates feature that was covered in the road templates video is used when the designer has no requirement to modify the road strings after they have been created. In practice, and especially for road design, it is incredibly rare to the point of saying that it never happens that the designer doesn't wish to modify these created strings in some way. The method for creating the road strings, which enables future modification, is using an MTF, which stands for Modifiers and Templates File. This file defines all the information for the design string creation and modification. To create an MTF, select Design, MTF, Create. As an MTF will be created for each road in a project, it's common to name the MTF the same as the road. So we'll name this MTF RS1, and then press Enter. We'll skip what a seed MTF file is. The text is grayed out, so it is optional. Then we select the super alignment reference string. So select the string picking icon, then pick and accept on the super alignment. Then select Create, which will create an MTF file in the working folder and open the MTF edit panel for this MTF. We don't need to worry about what this hinge is, so you can ignore that. Uh, modify left and modify right are where we'll insert our templates as well as conduct modifications of the road strings. Uh, boxing is no longer conducted through the boxing menu here but we need to leave it there for legacy reasons. I'll come back to what recalc and auto recalc do toward the end of the video. There are some additional settings under more and various MTF settings under settings uh, and save to save and close the MTF. Let's click modify left to add our template to the left hand side. This is the modify panel and to insert a new modifier, we double left click in the space in the type column. And we get a list of different modifiers we can add. Because these lists of modifiers can get into the hundreds and potentially thousands, depending on the nature of your project, it's always good practice to comment your modifiers so that anyone else and even yourself later on can look back and understand what the purpose of the modifiers were that were added. So I'll pick comment from this list, then type in the comment insert road template. I'll then use this icon here to insert a new row below. And you'll see the comment comes through with a yellow color on the row. Then again, I'll double click in the first column and insert our modifier for inserting the road template. So I'll walk right over the fixed option and then walk right over insert and select insert full template. We select insert full template because we want to insert all of the fixed part, the optional cut and fill parts, as well as the final cut fill interface part of the template. If we only wanted to insert the fixed part of the template, we could select insert fixed template, which is just above the insert full template. So I'll pick insert full template. And then we get the panel to select the template and to determine the change extents for the insert. Because we're in the left hand side modifiers, we'll select the full left template. And under start change, we'll select the drop down menu next to mode and select the typed change format. Then select the change icon and pick the end of the northern survey road curb return string on the left side of the reference string, which is just here. So left click and then middle mouse click to accept. And that will fill out the change location of that point along our reference string. Then I'll repeat for the end change. So select the typed change format. Pick the change icon. Then toward the south of the project. Pick and accept on the end of the survey road string, again on the left side of the road. 
and accept, which will again enter that manual change in the field and select apply. You'll see in the plan view, we get these yellow arrows and they indicate the extents of this particular modifier. I'll select finish. All we're gonna be doing on this left side is inserting this full template. So that's the left side done for now. And now we need to do the same thing for the right hand side, except this time selecting the full right template instead. So I'll click finish on the left side modifiers and select modify right to open the right modifiers. Again, I'll add a comment, insert road template, insert a new row below, then again, select to insert the full template. So walk right over fixed, walk right over insert and select insert full template. And the template we'll pick this time is full right. Under start change, we'll select the drop down menu and select typed. Then select the change icon and pick the end of the northern survey road string on the right side of the reference string this time. Accept. Then select typed for the end change. Pick the change icon. Then again, toward the south of the site. Pick and accept on the end of the survey road string on the right side and accept. Then apply and finish. And finish again on those right side modifiers. So now we have both the templates added to the MTF ready for us now to apply the MTF to the reference string. We're going to do this using an apply MTF function, which can be accessed through design, apply, apply MTF. In this panel under function name, if you've created a function in the previous road templates video called RS1, we'll name this function RS2 because we can't have multiple functions with the same name. Then press enter. And the MTF field will automatically be filled out with the same name as the function. Uh, we need to change this MTF to RS1. So select the folder icon and pick RS1 from the working folder. In the tin field, I'll select our ground tin to interface with. And in the reference field, I'll select our super alignment reference string. So select the string picking icon, then pick the super alignment and accept. I'll keep these start and end change fields as start and end of the reference string. You can also change the section separation, which controls the frequency of cross section generation along the road. I'll change this to 20 meters. And under report type and report file, you can create an earthworks report file for this road. I'll just leave those fields as they are. Then move to the models tab. In the top table, you can set the model names for the design strings and design cross sections, as well as set the cross section color. Uh, the boxing layer rows in this table are no longer the supported way to produce boxing, which is instead done directly through the MTF nowadays. In this tab, you can also set the model for polygons and model for road boundary, which are some models and some data which may be useful for future tasks. Uh, you'll notice that each of the models on this tab has the suffix RS2, which has been populated from the apply MTF function name when we pressed enter. The next MISC tab contains some settings for the apply MTF function. And then in the tin tab, we'll be creating a road tin as we did in the road templates video. Uh, we won't worry about any of the other tabs in this panel for now. And now to apply the MTF to the reference string, select apply. You can see in the message box at the bottom of this panel, after we click apply, our cut and fill quantities. So our cut quantity is 35,300 cubic meters of cut 
and the fill quantity is 7,065 cubic meters of fill with a net cut of 28,200 cubic meters. Uh, so I'll finish on this apply MTF function panel. And currently in my design view, I have the models align survey boundary tin and survey road. And I'll add on the models uh, design RS2 and cross sections RS2. Uh, the cross sections RS1 and design RS1 models are from the previous road templates video. Uh, so we won't add those on. So I'll select add. And we can see those models now on the view. I'll then profile one of the cross sections so we can see the result of the road string creation in the section view. So I'll pick the profile icon on the section view. Then pick and accept the cross section at change 60. I'll add the road design strings onto the section view as well. So design RS2. And if you don't already have them toggled on, toggle on the section view grades using the toggle icon and select grades. So then you can see the individual grades of each of the segments of the cross section and also where the longitudinal road strings pass through the cross section. And lastly, in the perspective view, I'll remove the current road tin, which was created in the previous road templates video. And I'll add the road tin created by the apply MTF function that we just created, which will be tin RS2. So we can zoom in now and view our tin. So now we've linked the MTF to the super alignment through the apply MTF function. And in order to create new strings and modify existing road strings, all we need to do is add modifiers to the left and right hand sides of the MTF, then reapply the apply MTF function. Which brings me back to the recalc and auto recalc options on the MTF edit panel. Recalc will recalculate any apply MTF functions linked to this MTF and when auto recalc is ticked on, when you select apply on any of the modifier panels, so for example, on the modify left, uh, this apply here, you'll automatically recalculate, again, any apply MTF functions linked to this MTF. Uh, to save this MTF, I'll walk right over save and select save and finish and then save. If you ever need to edit this MTF again, you can do that through design, MTF, edit, then pick the MTF you want to edit. Or the best way to bring up the MTF edit panel is to use the recalc tear off menu. To open that menu, select utilities, recalc, then pick recalc in the square brackets. And to edit our MTF, you can select the Edit Data button, then left click and accept on any of the road strings or cross sections that are produced using this MTF. So I'll left click and then middle mouse click to accept. And that brings up the MTF edit panel for the RS1 MTF. I'll just save and close this.